Voice cloning, phishing, emergency scams, IRS imposters, fake ads, malware, I could go on and on. The FTC says people have lost more than $2 billion to scams since the year 2021. And now AI, or deep fake technology, is getting more sophisticated. And it's becoming harder and harder to distinguish between what's real and what might be a computer-generated scam. Uh, where uh, you, you don't realize basically how dumb you were. Uh, this is deep fake example of what is possible with powerful computer and editing. It's hard to tell what's real and what isn't. What's up, TikTok? You guys cool if I play some sports? Deep fake scammers use AI algorithms to manipulate videos or images, creating realistic, fraudulent content. More for the audio experience. It's important to know the telltale signs of an AI fake. First, look for inconsistencies in the video. Deep fakes are often created by stitching together footage from different videos, so there might be inconsistencies in the lighting, the setting, or the person's appearance. If they turn their head to the side, their face will blur. There will also be unnatural facial expressions and eye movements. Often, they won't blink. What if I were to tell you that I'm not even a human being and what you see is not real? Experts say that AI fraudsters find it easiest to clone voices. To increase your security, set up multi-factor authentication. Never use voice prints to access accounts. Facial verification is safer, and a one-time text code is the most effective way to protect yourself. Apps like Invid We Verify is a free tool developed by the University of Maryland that allows users to verify videos and Reuters fact check, checks claims made on social media and other platforms, and it has dedicated sections on its website specifically for deep fakes. If you like what you're seeing, just wait till what's coming next. Yeah, that looked fake, right? So the United States, though, has announced the strongest global action yet on AI safety. President Joe Biden signed an executive order that requires artificial intelligence developers to share safety results with the government. It also protects consumer privacy and creates a program to evaluate potentially harmful AI-related healthcare practices.